sampai 100 satu alisan banyak kaitan gitu kan mungkin kan enggak ada pokoknya kecil besar istilahnya anak aja yang diperut aja istilahnya kan diambil semua itu hajar hajar semua pokoknya over the past four years, the Environmental Justice Foundation has conducted interviews with former and current crew from Chinese industrial fishing vessels. The size of this fleet eclipses that of any other nation on Earth and is plagued by reports of illegal fishing and severe human rights violations. Supported by extensive satellite monitoring, hundreds of hours of surveillance at sea, and many thousands of images shared by crew, EJF's investigation has uncovered the vast extent of this abuse. It paints an alarming picture of what's happening on board unmonitored fishing vessels far out on the open ocean. wildlife takes place on an almost unbelievable scale on board Chinese industrial fishing vessels. Hiu bukan main maksudnya. Udah perusak ekosistem udah. Udah kebumbuhan bonus. Bagaimana caranya dapat kebumbuhan? Dia mengkayu secara tidak sengaja. Dia akan lumba-lumba kan sering nyepetin kapal. Jadi kalau ke samping, tinggal tombak. Berarti itu hanya main kuat main dari nama. Beyond the species that these vessels are licensed to catch, the meat and body parts of many other threatened marine animals are being targeted for illegal trading, bait, souvenirs, and consumption on board. Kadang orang Cina itu baru keluar dari anjing laut itu langsung ditombak, paling ambil gigi-nya, terus dagingnya buat dimakan itu aja kayak tahu tahu itu kan. The fleet is crewed by tens of thousands of predominantly migrant workers from Indonesia and the Philippines, recruited by brokers and put to work at sea for months or even years at a time. This is the place of processing the fish. We are in the place of sleeping. Isolated and vulnerable on board the largely unmonitored vessels, they are subjected to a litany of horrors, from extreme overworking and dire living conditions to violent abuse and human trafficking. In almost 90% of interviews conducted by EJF, crew testified to being forced to work excessively long hours. On this vessel, up to 18 hours a day. Exhausted from overwork, the crew would hide and sleep where they could. Tidak layak sama sekali sih mas. Biasanya yang dikasih ke ABK. Much of China's global fleet operates in the waters of coastal states, where communities are heavily reliant on fish for food and income. We have a situation where fishermen are not making catch because industrial trawlers are competing with them. As we speak this morning, fishermen who went to sea made no catch. In West Africa alone, estimates suggest that the Chinese bottom trawl fleet harvests over $5 billion worth of fish every year, destroying marine ecosystems and decimating livelihoods. The overarching failure of the Chinese government to regulate its fleet is allowing gross environmental injustices and severe human rights violations to proliferate. But these abuses reveal a wider problem, a profound lack of transparency in the sector that allows perpetrators to slip through the net and commit illegal acts with impunity. To truly understand who is fishing what, where, when and how, governments and businesses alike must urgently take action to drive transparency across seafood supply chains and put an end to illegal fishing, violence, and ecosystem destruction at sea.